Where to? Whatever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shane. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the roast beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. I... I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. It's much more than that. Adewale was already a legend before joining the Brotherhood. He was a pirate. The scourge of the West Indies. Rubbing elbows with the likes of Blackbeard, Woods Rogers and Calico Jack Rackham. Calico who? Oh, read a book, will you? About 20 years ago, Adewale intercepted a Templar convoy and stole the mysterious baggage. He traveled to Port-au-Prince and entrusted it to a woman he believed was loyal to our cause. vessel and she looks to be in trouble that's fine indeed perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea now let's not be too hasty she's full of crown cargo take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself I say this is a good day to ride in the gorgeous pockets be careful a few shots should be enough to cripple her too much damage and she'll go down with all souls and all spoils we can warn the crew knows what to defend Cowards! Use explosive shot water! Hold your fire! Don't want to sink her. Now's the time, let's board her! Where's the plastic powder? Ah! Show them what's for, Captain! Come on, man. The spoils are ours. For the more again.
At the sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master station nearby. We can spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. A shame, though. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But. Haiti's a French colony now. Aye, oh, it is. And here, the assassins are helping King Louis. But in Haiti, the French own the slaves who are set free by the assassins. Our struggle is beyond political borders, Shay. Anticosti shouldn't be far. Keep us on course, Captain. Royal studs! Say, Shay. Small fishing village. Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. Let go, anchor! today then. A bit of business, that. Captain's at the helm. We should resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. She'll take it. New sail. Put out all she'll take. Some sort of cargo there. Ship avoid. More fishermen from Perse. Full of enemy. enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats! You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. These cowboys must pay! And would you look at that? Standing right in our way to add to cost. What say you? Sink every last one of them? For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. Fire! 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 Fire!
with us for what? Not too far from Antikosti Island, though. Will your friend the spy be waiting for us? Yes. I hope the chasseur has more information about the manuscript. Maybe he'll have the whole thing figured out for us. And maybe I'm Emperor of Rome. Obvious Caesar. Salt hair, open skies, a man out on the ocean. He's as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. But what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? A temperate stick to this continent like a tar. Don't feel liberated until we pry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men, instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their boot on your neck? Of course not. A murdered bastard who want to control the world and everyone in it. Never forget. We have nothing in common with that, of course. Chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. That winch trouble, Captain. Blue Zuck! Caesar sticks! Act like an ox! Should be nearby, Captain. Dock the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Not well enough to put beef on my family's plates. If you want beef, raid more British brigs. They're loaded down with barrels. Oh, yes. Their Irish farms yield much meat, don't they? Oh, that is smart management. Far better than the locals could do. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. 
Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Where there are no charts, no, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could kill Where is the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. <laughs>